Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching, and in this video, I'm going to explain what is the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Okay, so quite a long word, but if you stay until the very end, then I have a special download for you as well as being able to understand exactly what this long word actually means. Learning point number one where is it? So, the sarcoplasmic reticulum, what a word, is part of our muscle structure. So let's have a look at the image that you can see on screen now. Now this image shows your sliding filament theory. So you are probably aware of that already. If not, I definitely suggest you get your head around the sliding filament theory before moving on to this bit. But let's have a look. So you can see where it says on the right hand side of the screen, thick and thin filament. Now this is your myofilaments. So these are your actin and your myosin. Um, these together make your sarcomere. Okay, so this is the contractile unit, it's the sarcomere. Now the sarcomeres go end on end to create a muscle fibre, which is also sometimes called a myofibril. Now this is really important because the myofibril or the muscle fibre is this bit that you can see sticking out to the side on the image in front of you. Now this part here, this muscle fibre is then surrounded in a net. This net-like um, river runs all the way around this muscle fibre. Now, this is what you can see in blue on the main part of the image. So you look at the main part of the image, can you see this blue netting all the way through the middle? Now, that is your sarcoplasmic reticulum. So it is covering and sort of flows through each of the muscle fibres. So its job is, its location is around each muscle fibre. Learning point number two, what is the sarcoplasmic reticulum? So apart from being like we said, a long word, and sometimes pretty hard to get our head around. So let's start by chunking that down. So sarco, we come across that word when we, that sort of part of the word, when we're looking at sarcomeres. So you can relate that to the muscle itself and muscle contractions and sarcomeres, sarco. Then plasmic, so, so think about the plasma of our blood. It's usually liquid based. It's about creation. So it's about usually liquid based. Then look at reticulum, which means a net or a, a net-like structure. So you put all those together and it's exactly what we've already explained. It's this sort of river or this storage capacity that looks like a net that surrounds around the muscle fibre. But what you really, really do need to know, so if you don't take anything else from this whole video, is that this sarcoplasmic reticulum, its job is to store and release calcium into the muscles. Now we use calcium for our muscle contractions, so we need a place that can store that calcium until we need it. It can then release the calcium, we can use the calcium, and then when we don't need it, it can store it again. And that's the job of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So that's one for your brain that you need to remember is that it stores and releases calcium into the muscle. Now you know everything you need to know about the sarcoplasmic reticulum, let's test your knowledge. And this mock question is a level three anatomy and physiology question. What mineral is stored in the sarcoplasmic reticulum and used in muscle contraction? Is it A, calcium, B, magnesium, C, potassium, or D, sodium? What I'd like you to do is to pop your answers in the comments box below. Guesses are more than welcome, and I'll share with you the answer in just a second, but take your time to really answer this question. So the answer is A, calcium. So I mentioned earlier that calcium is the mineral that is stored in our sarcoplasmic reticulum, and it's also released from that same area. If you'd like to download 101 mock questions just like this one, then hit the link that is with this video so you can download them all for free. If you've liked this video, make sure you hit the like button, which is a little thumbs up button, share with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.